sounds really cool. Hi, it's Business here, and today we will be installing and testing Amplitude 5 Custom Shop. Let's go! Regardless of if you're a professional guitarist or just a beginner, you want your guitar to sound perfectly. So we're going to have a look on what are the options on market for like a software, ideally free one. So we will be testing a free software today that will make our guitar sound beautiful and really nice. So let's have a look on Amplitude 5 Custom Shop, which is actually free. There's only just a few presets, like around 21 presets that you can try with it, but you can of course modify and customize. And if you like the software, you can of course upgrade it. The cheapest version at the moment is around like $50. So feel free to test it out a little bit. And then if you like it, you can of course upgrade. Okay, let's get to the installing. So this is a IK Multimedia website and let's find the Amplitude we're looking for. It will be here in products, software, and there is an Amplitude. Let's go to Amplitude 5 custom shop. Well, let's see all Amplitude. Now, so we have some of these are starting at $99 or even uh, even less, actually. Let's have a look. So the cheapest version I can find here is around uh, 50 euros, $50. Let's find the free version. It's here on the top. Actually, it's the first position. It says free. Okay, let's click on it. And we want to download for a Mac OS. You can, of course, download for Windows. It will be probably the same. Once we have it downloaded, let's click on it. And then we have install IK product manager. I didn't have that before. Okay, introduction, yeah, continue. Okay. No, oh, installing. Okay, the installation was successful. Yes, move to bin, please. Yeah, we can close that and then I uh, guess we want to find that now. IK Product Manager, yeah. Remember me login. There we have it. So there we have it. I actually used to have an Amplitude 4 before, but I didn't really remember how it was. So. Let's install the Amplitude 5. Install. And that's going to take a while, so we'll see you after the break. Okay, so this is what came up. This is a installer for the Amplitude 5. Let's go. Continue. Uh, yes. Oh, my password. Preparing Amplitude 5, writing files and everything. Yeah, that will take a little bit as well. Okay, installation successful. Okay, so once we have that installed, let's try it out. Let's have a look. Okay, so here it is, Amplitude 5. Let's drag it on here. Okay, it's not authorized. Okay, let's authorize it then. Authorize. Done. Perfect. Now, let's check our routing and how everything is plugged in. So my guitar is in channel two. There it is. And let's uh, bring on the monitoring in so we can hear our guitar straight away. Let's see if that works. That sounds pretty well. Making sure your guitar sounds really good and it's not clipping is also important. And I will have a little video here, like a little tutorial on how to set up everything and plug in your guitar to your USB interface and into the Ableton and making sure everything is set up properly. Just click that, watch that first and go back here. Okay, let's go. That sounds good so far. Okay, so let's see what plugins do we have available. 
So from what I know, we can only use the plugins that are here in the Amplitude5CS folder. So uh, let's listen to these. That sounds cool. Let's uh, listen to more of these. That's cool. How does this one sound like? Beach Boy sound. So I can play open chords in that, that sounds cool. Sounds really cool. That's a cool one too. Cool one. Nice clean one. Anyway, I won't be going through all of the presets, you can do it yourself. The link is in the description down below, the plugin is free, so there's nothing between you and getting this one. Of course, you can have a look on some other presets as well. We have uh, loads of presets from Amplitude 5, like the premium ones. The only thing is when you try to play them, you will hear the sound, but it will be interrupted with a noise every few seconds, so it will prevent you from recording it. But you can actually try all the presets and all the effects that are here, and see how they sound like if you like them, and just to test it for yourself. Would you like upgrade or would you not like to upgrade? Anyway, good option here. Also, you can build your own effects and all presets here, so you can basically go for the default. Plugin, then you can choose from the amp of your choice. Let's do something random. I've seen a Soldano kind of thing here. Let's click on this one. Now we have this amp cabinet. This one will be okay. There we have a cabinet here. And let's plug in a little delay or something. Now we go into the stomp boxes here. 
Where's the delay? There it is. Delay somewhere here before the amp. Let's see how does that sound like. You can modify all the stun boxes in the chain. We can always add a little compressor here after the delay or before the delay. Yeah, why not? And we can also, of course, play with the settings on the app. So it looks like we can do like a less overdrive. Overdrive or normal. Crunch or clean, bright or normal. Let's do like that. That's very quiet. Not so bad. Actually very good to be honest, very good. I like it so far. I think I'm gonna stick with it for some time and test it out a little bit more to see if I want a full version or not. But so far, so good. Okay, guys, so as you've seen, like installing is very simple and very easy, and there's not much problems with it at all. And the plugin is free, so it's really worth testing it out. And also, you can have a look on the paid presets, which is a good thing to have a look at always. So, in the description box down below, you will find the links to the Amplitude that we tested out today. Also links to the gear that I used and I would 100% recommend like this sweet mic. Okay, so that was the Amplitube, really nice thing. You can actually make your own version of amp modeling software in Ableton Live intro, even using the simplest plugins that actually sounds really cool. Just follow the link here and I will show you how to do it. And you can also download my version of it for free that works with Ableton Live intro. So why not? Okay guys, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already, click the like button and see you guys in the next video. Cheers, bye.